everybody. Thank you so very much for coming to the house uh, this beautiful day in May. We are here celebrating a wonderful woman named Mrs. Aiko Mihara. She has reached the delightful age of 100 years old, and I will read this resolution. This is House Resolution number 22-19, to honor Ms. Aiko Miyahara for reaching the delightful age of 100 years old. Whereas a great community is only as great as those individuals who provide selfless service, whether through unique personal achievement or other endeavors, or simply through a mission of long life and countless experiences. And whereas attendant to such concern and in full accord with its long-standing traditions, the legislature is justly proud to acknowledge Ms. Aiko's Mihara for reaching the rare milestone of 100 years old. And whereas Mrs. Aiko Mihara was born on April 20th, 1922 in Davao, Philippines to parents Shigeki and Yuki Hasegawa, and whereas, Ms. I and whereas she is the eldest of seven siblings consisting of two sisters, namely Shizuko and Sachiko, and five brothers, namely Hiroshi, Izumi, Tadashi, Yoichi, and Seiko. And whereas her family owned a farm business in the Philippines. And whereas at the age of seven years old, Miss Aiko Mihara moved to Japan to attend first grade where she initially stayed with her uncle while her parents and siblings remained in the Philippines to maintain their farming business. And whereas in the outbreak of World War II, her parents and siblings returned to Japan. And whereas later on in her life, Miss Aiko Mihara married Motohiko Mihara and had a daughter, namely Miki Mihara. And due to underlying health conditions, Mr. Motohiko Mihara passed away when their daughter was around the ages of seven or eight years old. And as a single parent, Mrs. Aiko Mihara willingly and diligently faced the hardships that came with the territory by raising her daughter and working odd jobs to ensure ends meet. And whereas her longest employment was a pharmacy technician in which she worked for approximately 22 years. And whereas due to the poor working conditions, such as powdered forms of medication, lack of ventilation and proper protection equipment, Miss Aiko Mihara lost her sense of smell in her mid-40s. And whereas around 1990, she decided to move to Saipan to be with her only daughter and her loving grandchildren. And whereas, furthermore, she also taught them the values of courage, strength, and resiliency, all of the traits she, whole, she has wholeheartedly displayed throughout her entire life. And whereas, the life of Miss Aiko Mihara is one that can be defined by the selfless and unconditional love that she has for her family. And whereas in leaving the comfort of her home country of Japan, she has made Saipan her new home where she can be closer to the people she loves the most, her family. Whereas at the graceful age of 100 years old, Miss Aiko Mihara experienced many trials and tribulations that make her the woman she is today. And whereas, even at such age, her daughter, son-in-law, grandchildren, and great-grandchildren are forever grateful to still experience her smile and her ability to, <clears throat> and her ability to forever hold her fortitude. And whereas this August of this August body, representing the people of the Commonwealth of the Northern Marianas Islands, it is justly proud to honor such an individual who has reached a milestone that we all wish to achieve. And, ne and therefore be it resolved by the House of Representatives of the 22nd Northern Marianas Commonwealth Legislature that the House, uh, that the House honor Miss Aiko Mihara for reaching the delightful age of 100 years old. And now therefore be it resolved, be it further resolved that the Speaker of the House of Representatives shall certify and the House Clerk shall attest to the adoption of this resolution, and thereafter the House Clerk shall transmit a certified copy to Ms. Aiko Mihara, the Honorable Ralph DeLeongaro Torres, Governor, Commonwealth of the Northern Mariana Islands, and the Honorable Gregorio Kalili C. Sablon, U.S. Delegate to the United States Congress, 117th U.S. Congress, and the Honorable Jude U. Hofschneider, Senate President of the 22nd Northern Marianas Commonwealth Legislature. 
duly adopted on the 27th day of April. We can hold it. Can you take the mic? Will you help me, Danny? Can you hold it for me right there? There you go. Look there. Thank you. Congratulations. For you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 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 No, no mine, you were talking the whole time. What's mine? What's mine? <laughs> it, it is because of my and all of her. Oh. It, did she sing something? I don't know. Oh. Well, I, I want to thank my. Oh. Is that two treasures? Oh, okay. All right. All right. Well, I want to thank you for your efforts to also, you know, put your, your message out in the newspaper that really. Oh, yeah. um, promoted a lot of people like pushing to to get this honor to your your grandmother because you know of your efforts to honor her as well and so thank you and thank each and every one of you um, for sharing her story with all of us thank you and so with that if you'd like to say anything else um not really <laughs> okay <laughs> well, let's take a group photo yeah let's do a group photo come on in everybody squeeze in and uh Will you help?